Welcome to the Dad Got Parks Disney Character Warehouse update for the Vineland location, Saturday, July 10th. They have this later hosen bag, which is at $7.99. It's been more than that. It's been less than that. I don't know. They keep messing with prices. They've got winter Christmassy stuff. Wool hats with little fuzzy ears and gloves. You know, because it's July and it's a thousand degrees out. But I guess that's why they need to get rid of them. Eight bucks isn't terrible pricing. This Christmas tote is actually a pretty nice bag. It's pretty thick and pretty heavy weight. 10 bucks isn't horrible. Um, it's been less than that before. It's been like $5.99 before, so you could wait and see if they drop it. What do you get when you cross a snowman and a vampire? Frostbite. Waka waka. All right, that's not bad. I kind of like that one, Frostbite. Uh, I guess it's in honor of the Halloween bag that we were looking at. These were pretty cool. These are the newest item. They got them in last night, according to the worker that I talked to. And the workers were even excited to see them because they're really nice metal tiaras. Um, I wasn't really excited about the first two. That, that Rapunzel one doesn't have the princess on it. And this is Beauty and the Beast, which doesn't have the stained glass, doesn't have the rose, doesn't have them on it. Like Ariel's just like this blue ocean. Not super cool. I think they could have done better with the designs on these ones. It's probably why they're in the outlet. Why was Cinderella a lousy basketball player? Because she had a pumpkin for a coach. Waka waka. I get it because she rode in a coach that was a pumpkin. That one was better. Um, this one just looks like mushrooms. Um, I mean, Jasmine, like Cinderella at least had the princess on it. Like put the princess on it. That makes more sense. I mean, eight bucks off of 17. Now, Tiana's really nice. It's got Tiana on there. And actually, Tiana's design is probably one of the coolest ones of the the tiaras that I saw there. I think Tiana's the one to get. Or, yeah, it's pretty cool. They also had scepters. They had this Beauty and the Beast scepter, which has the rose inside it that lights up. And they light up if you press the button. Um, they do like a thing, bling, bling, and a light up. Uh, thing. Um, some of them had batteries. I guess some of them, the batteries were dead. They had the aerial scepter, which was pretty cute. She has the shell in there and two pictures on each side. There's a picture on the different sides. Um, you can see how it kind of like lights up there. Um, but you do have to be a little bit careful. They, some of them were a little scratchy. And look, there's the pumpkin that Fozzie was referring to for the coach. Get it? The pumpkin coach. Not bad. Um, so these were the only three scepters they had. They didn't have scepters to match all of the tiaras. That was a Black Widow hat, which I was a little bit surprised to see in the outlet already. I mean, the movie just came out, like, this week. This is the California, the Disneyland park icon dress. That's not the Disney World version. You can tell because it actually has the Ferris wheel on there from California. Pretty cool, right? They also had some Sally dresses back, and these were $34.99. These were not $70 like the Bo Peep dresses that they were trying to sell. So not all the dresses went up in prices, guys. And at $128 retail, the dresses are still a fantastic deal at the outlets. These, not so great a deal. It's only 5 bucks off of the ABC Disney trinket boxes. They're cool, but I like them a lot better at $7.99. These mugs, $9.99, way better at $5.99. Uh, they are a three-finger mug. Um, they had quite a variety of the uh, letters there today, which was good. The Forky plush is still one of the better plush deals in the outlet. $5.99 off of a $20 original price. He's a good size. And it's Forky, who should be called Sporky. This is the only pair of ears they have in the entire joint. It is the Peoria flower ear or something like that is what my wife calls them. Regular. How do Yetis stay regular? They always know when to go. Waka waka. Oh, that's bad. When to go. Ugh. He's only $14.99. They do not have a retail price on him, but ugh. And the Alice teacup is still there at $25.99. I just like these, so I featured them. I love the pop vinyls, and these are big, and they're cool. And Alice looks so cute riding in her little teacup. Looks like a lot of fun. The kids spirit jerseys are still reasonable at 20 bucks off of a $50 original price. You do have the bounty, which is the, uh, you know, baby Yoda spirit Jersey. Super cool. They're super lightweight compared to adult spirit jerseys, by the way, though. They're not heavy 
like the adult spirit jerseys. The Star Wars Stormtrooper one is a little bit heavier than the Bounty one. I guess the Bounty is just a very lightweight spirit jersey to me. Um, that one's a cool shirt. This one I have featured before, but I never looked at the back. And at eight bucks, it's a fantastic shirt, but look, I want this in an adult size. That's so awesome with all the names on the back there like that. Dude, I really want that in an adult size. They had some cute little flip-flops for the chillins, $3.99 off of a $16 original, 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 I, I broke, I broke, I broke everything, everything broke. Original price, they had a lot of them. 15 bucks off of a $40 original price, only mediums on this one. They have a lot of cute little icons on there, including the kid from Coco, which was neat to see. It means it's kind of a, a newer print. Um, all the youth stuff was kind of the same stuff that's been there for a while. So if you go back and watch my clothes videos, you will see it's kind of all the same stuff that has been there forever and ever and ever. Come on, outlet people. We need to get some new stuff. I need some new stuff in my outlet because I have new stuff I need to buy. These are new. I had not seen these before. These are youth Pixar socks. Eight bucks off of 17s. Not the greatest deal, but they're cool socks. I like that Edna Mode icon. She's funny looking. And she's a funny character. I like her a lot. Um, this, uh, they're crazy. It says 2020 on it, people. I mean, it's cute and it's done well, but anything with a date should be cheap once that date is over they need to to work on that people that this should be like 4.99 i've seen them go cheaper than that and i figured i'd at least show you what spirit jerseys are here even though they are pricey for us regular outlet going people um 39.99 seems to be the regular price for all the spirit jerseys i put 69.99 for the retail because that's pretty much what the retail for most spirit jerseys in the park are how do you row a canoe filled with puppies? Bring out a doggy paddle. Waka waka. Okay, that has nothing even to do with what's going on on the screen. Now you're just telling random jokes? All right, you guys, the bear's getting out of control. We need to, to have a sit down and talk. Um, so yeah, I just at least thought I'd show you the, the ones that are here. A lot of Disneyland stuff um, compared to Disney World stuff, which is funny. Um, but yeah, lots of Disneyland stuff. They still have some of these ink and paint, um, hoodies at the 29 buck price. Eh, 29 I don't like. I like 19. I'm gonna stop, stop complaining. Stop complaining. Um, $7.99, no retail price that I could find at all, but $7.99 for one pair of socks. Nope, not, not on my watch. These are the shoes we bought the wife. She said that they are pretty comfortable little pinchy on the little toe they need to break in a little bit better i was supposed to buy a pair for the mother-in-law but they did not have her size only sevens so this is the exact same stuff we've been seeing guys um go back and watch my every item of clothes in the outlet vlog and you'll see all of this stuff it's pretty much the same stuff i don't think anything has changed um all the men's stuff is the same nothing really new has showed up i didn't see anything that blew me away that was new but this blew me away there's a shake shack coming to the vineland outlet folks we are getting a shake shack if you don't know what shake shack is fantastic burgers man really excited about that now it's time for everybody's favorite game show what did dad buy what's up everybody and welcome to what did dad buy well dad bought some stuff but Man, the outlets have been sad lately. Just same old, same old, not a lot of restocking, no really new exciting stuff. We haven't gotten any new bags. We haven't gotten any new ears. They're still kind of keeping with this pricing thing. And unfortunately, it seems like their pricing scheme is working because I heard people at the Spirit Jersey rack from out of town and they were like, ooh, these are $39.99, these are $70 in the parks. They were excited about the $39.99 pricing. So we're the spoiled people who used to know the $24.99 pricing and we're like, man, that $39 is high. But for people who are used to $70 park pricing, they're excited to pay $40 for these spirit jerseys. 
So it's not looking good for us for them to drop these prices. But there is some new exciting stuff and I have some stuff to announce. Sorry there was no video last week. It was the kiddo's birthday week, so we were off gallivanting doing birthday stuff. We were at the Icon Park. We were at the Gaylord Palms. We had a birthday party to throw. Then the kiddo got sick. She's feeling much better now. But it was just a crazy week, and I couldn't make it out on Saturday to do the video. Sorry about that, but I've got stuff for you guys to look at now. Let's take a look. I also have the squeakiest chair, in, and I've tried to lube this thing. It's been ridiculously annoying me. I apologize about the squeaky chair. This is hard to show, but I'll do my best. This was $39.99, original price $99.99, and it is a future kiddo thing because they didn't really have her size, but we just had to buy it. This was a 910. She's apparently a 78, but. It is the Bell um, Castle Collection. These are the nicer of the costume dresses. Uh, princess dress. It's a really nice dress. Um, like I said, they were normally a hundred bucks. These aren't your little like Halloween costumey dresses. These are pretty nice. Um, and we bought this as a she can grow into it dress because she just loves dressing up and being fancy. So this was a purchase for the kiddo, $39.99 off of a $99 price. But it has lots of glitter. Oh my God, I have glitter all over me already. Honestly, this was probably the thing that was the newest and most exciting thing in the entire store. You've already seen some of them, but I didn't show you this one because we actually bought this one. This is the Aurora tiara. And these are really nice. These are made out of metal. They're kind of like the ones that they do at the Bippity Boppity Boutique. If your kid does the Bippity Boppity Boutique makeover. Oh, ha. My mouth completely broke and it couldn't even say that. Um, these are $7.99 and they are normally $17.95. Um, princess Aurora is the kiddo's favorite princess, but as you can look there, it's got like her dancing with the prince from Philip. Prince Philip, I think that's his name. And they also had the scepter. You've got them in the pink dress on the one side blue dress on the other and it says try me it lights up and it makes a bling bling noise this was also $7.99 off of a $19.95 price now this one is plastic and you also have to watch because the plastic on the globes was scratched on a lot of them so I had to dig through to find a good one that wasn't scratched. So keep that in mind if you're looking for them. So we bought her her own little Aurora princess set. This was a purchase for the wifey. Her favorite princess is Ariel. This was only $3.99 off of a red price. I don't know the red, teal, whatever prices, but. Little keychain bag hanger thing, Ariel. She's super cute. She's only $3.99, not bad, right? Pretty cute. And it's the wife's favorite princess, so I kinda had to buy it for her. All right, this is the last item I bought, but I'm gonna call this one the deal of the day. Pretty awesome. Gotta use the Disney magic for this one. Hold on. Yes! A stitch hat with little floppy hands, and it's got his ears. $29.99 original price, $1.99, not a youth hat. It says adult on the inside. That's right, adult for $1.99. And his little arms flap as you move around. How can you beat that? A buck 99, freaking awesome. I thought this was the best thing in the outlet today. I was redeemed the outlet it did itself. Oh, very Yoda talk there. Redeemed the outlet it did itself. 
Mmm, yes, mmm, yes. But I was so excited to see this thing. A buck 99. I love super cheap items and when they're awesome, like Stitch. I mean, look at him. How cute he is. He's awesome. Every time, even in what did dad buy? You can't trust him. You can't. I'm so excited about this hat. I'm going to leave it on to finish this video off. And by finish this video off, I have a lot of announcements to do. We have to give away the 4,500 subscriber ears because we hit 4,500 subscribers. Yay us. I pulled a random comment from a random video and it happened to be the Memorial Day weekend at Disney Springs video. The comment that won was from Jody Barlow. She said, after seeing this vlog, I took my mom to Disney Springs. She loves watermelon for what you had. It was so refreshing, but what was the green stuff? Love your vlogs and your family. Well, guess what, Jody? For that comment, you won yourself a set of red pirate ears. That's how easy it is to win stuff on the Dad Got Parks channel. Leave a comment, say something, and you could win. Jody, I'm gonna reach out to you, or you can reach out to me, dadgotparks at gmail.com. Pretty simple. Guess what? When we reach 5,000, we're gonna give away new stuff. What's that new stuff? Hold on. Well, Halloween's kind of around the corner, sort of. We're pretty close to it, at least. So, in honor of Halloween, I decided to give away some Nightmare Before Christmas ears. These are some Jack Skellington ears. They got Jack, Oogie Boogie, and Zero. And then it's got like the little, I guess, little snake thing on the side. So you get these ears and a little Jack Skellington bag hanger. That is prize number one. What? Prize number one? Yeah, it's 5,000. That's a big number. So because it's 5,000, I'm doing two giveaways. So one person's gonna win these and another person is gonna win something else. I know I have a lot of Star Wars fans that watch this channel. So because of that, I'm giving away a little Star Wars pack. You're gonna get the journal. This is my little journal I use. This thing is awesome. Inside it are blueprints for all of the Star Wars lightsabers. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And on the outside, there's the Millennium Falcon. You've got the Death Star, all sorts of cool stuff. This is a really cool journal and it comes with a pen. You're gonna get this and your own little shoulder porg pal. These are the magnetic shoulder pals. He'll sit on your shoulder or she. I don't know how you tell if a porg is a he or a she. I don't know. If you do, let me know in the comments could actually win you this. That could be the comet that wins this. And this. So there will be two prizes for the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. How do you get it? Be a subscriber, comment on videos. That's it, really simple. I pick a random video and a random comment from that random video and they win. I'll do two this time. The other way to win stuff around here is to become a member of the DGP Alliance. All of that info on how to join is in the description, but I give away stuff. So I gotta announce all that stuff for this month and then I gotta announce what's coming for next month's winners. So this month's big prize is a Loungefly Sully backpack. This Loungefly Sully backpack. And the winner is, no, let's do the other ones first. Ooh, that was me. The first personal shop winner is Denise M. Denise, I will be reaching out to you Thank you for being a member. You won a personal shop from dad. What is a personal shop from dad? You pick five items. You give me a list of a bunch of items. I try to find those items. I purchase them. You pay for them. You pay for shipping. You get outlet items. Pretty cool. I'm usually pretty loose with the whole five item thing. Give me a list of stuff. I'll try to find it. I'll try to buy it for you. You could purchase stuff from the outlets via dad. The next personal shop winner is Alfred M. Alfred. Same thing, I'll be reaching out to you. And this month's sketch winner is TNH Summers. Let me know what you want me to sketch for you. I'll give you a yay or nay on whether I think I can pull it off and I'll get you out of sketch. And 
because dad's in a great mood and subscribers are going great and members are going great, dad decided to do a bonus giveaway for Patreon members. And you know those awesome red pirate ears that we gave away to the subscribers for hitting 4,500? Well, I'm giving away a pair of those to one of our Patreon members. And that Patreon member was Stacy H. Guess what, Stacy? You just won a free pair of ears. And now for the big giveaway. Who is taking home Sully? The star of the new Monsters at Work show can be on your back. And the person whose back it will be on is Robin B. Robin, you are a winner. I will be contacting you to get your information to get you your Loungefly Sully bag. Congratulations. Like I said, if you're interested in winning awesome cool prizes, go ahead and check out the information in the description below. But you probably wanna know what those awesome cool prizes for next month are gonna be. Personal shops are the same, sketch the same, but it's a new bag. It's not Sully this month. This month, the giveaway is going to be the Arendelle Aqua Loungefly Crossbody. This thing is awesome, man. It has like a chain for the, the hang part that goes over the shoulder. That has a real word that women use to describe it on a purse and it's not in my brain right now. Strap, the strap. Yes, that's what it's called. And it's really sparkly, super sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. And it is awesome, it is lounge fly. And somebody is going to win this next month. Yeah, just for being a DGP Alliance member. Pretty cool, right? But I'm throwing in some extra stuff. You know that prize pack that I'm giving away when we reach 5,000? One member is gonna win the Nightmare Before Christmas ears and the little Jack bag hanger. And one John member is gonna win the Star Wars prize pack. Your little own, your own little shoulder pour and a Star Wars journal. I really appreciate all the support that you guys give me. And I think you guys are the best people in the world. You guys are so much the best people in the world. I met one of my Patreon members and they made me something and I have to show it to you. And it's gonna require a little bit of Disney magic. These are ears, and I'm gonna have to bring them in closer for you to see them. That is my logo, and it says Dad Got Parks, and one of my Patreon members, Jeff Sharp, 3D printed these for me and met me at the outlet today and gave these to me. We took this selfie, and you can see they're pink in the selfie because these change in the sun. In the sun, the color of the material changes to pink. And I'm solid with my manhood and I will rock some pink ears. Unless the kiddo steals them because she loves anything that is pink. But I have to say thank you so much to Jeff Sharp. This is awesome. I was blown away that you would take your time and your effort to make something for me. Um, to say thank you for doing videos. I really appreciate that. I enjoy making these videos so much and going out with my family to the parks and taking you guys with us and, and just doing this is so much fun. Stay tuned. I've got a whole bunch more videos coming out. I've got Disney Springs with the Disney Stranger. I've got our Gaylord Palms video coming out. I will be back in the parks. I will be back at the outlets. I'll be going back to the Disney store. Lots coming. So as always guys, dad doesn't do outros. So that's it. Thanks for watching my video, and I have selected the best video on YouTube on your left and the third best video. I don't know what happened to the second best, but you should probably watch these videos. They're really amazing. Um, I don't know. Maybe they are. YouTube picks the one on the left, but I hope it picked a good one. Enjoy. Um, yeah, and make sure you guys uh, get entered into my giveaways. You might want to do that. There's good stuff in there.